Hi guys, thanks for joining us. Walk Becky along today. So we're up here, we're going to do a little uh, debate. We're going to cover the Kelly kettle. My Kelly kettle that I use a lot, that you see me using, versus the gas stove. Primus gas stove. Yeah. We're going to talk about why I like this, the pros of the Kelly kettle and the cons of the Kelly kettle and the pros and cons of the Primus gas stove. So, go on in Bex, why do you like, <sighs> why do you think that's more superior than this? Um, so, out of the two I picked the Primus gas stove as... Defending I, the corner. As I feel the gas stove is much easier to carry, use and work, yeah, over the Kelly kettle. One of the reasons is it's much lighter, so when you're going on a trip you don't want to be carrying um, a bulky Kelly kettle as such. Why is it bulky? <sighs> Because it's, it's bulkier, isn't it? What, this? Look at the size of it. Yeah, but you could get the smaller version of this. Yeah, but we're talking about the... the Primus and the Kelly Kettle Scout. Yeah, but I'm it. saying they do another model of this, the Trek. But they do a smaller one of this. Yeah, they do. Yeah, they do. But the, <coughs> but the Trek's a lot smaller. It's a little bit bulkier, but I don't think you're going to... The weight difference isn't great. <laughs> but it's bulkier. Yeah, it is. I'll give you that. It's bulkier. It's a lot bulkier. But the weight, there's not a lot of difference in the weight. You've got 500 grams, that's not a full gas bottle. I think yours is a bit heavier. So this is more compact for when you're putting in your rucksack and it's much lighter. It's not a lot lighter. That's 500 grams full up, that gas it's canister. It's lighter. Is it? We have to get the scales up. The, this comes in, just not, not with the whole unit, with the, but with the base and that. It comes in under a kilo, under one kilo. So you're a little bit lighter, yeah, not loads. Yeah, I'm lighter. Yeah. <laughs> Another reason for the gas stove is, is no effort. So you've been preparing wood for the last 15 minutes or so. So you've had to chop wood, you've had to collect sticks. In the winter time, that would take even longer than 15 minutes because you can't just pick up wood from the floor like you've done. Whereas I can just get to camp, quickly set it up, connect the gas, and Bob's your uncle, I'm done. And you'll be out in the cold chopping up wood while I've got my hot brew on or my food, and you're. Uh, and then plus, after you've collected the wood, you've got to light your fire. So you might have to go off somewhere and find some birch bark or make feather sticks um, to light your fire. Good point, guys. So that's going to take a lot longer than just a click of a button for my gas stove. Right. Mm -hmm. are, you, are you done on your corner? Um, well, you got more, more to add. <laughs> you got more to add to that. <coughs> you, you put up a good argument uh, there, Becky. Oh, another reason. If I'm, for instance, in a tent, or under my tarp, or in a cabin here, out the camp, I can set it up in my tent. Maybe in the outside port. Port. What am I saying? Porch. Porch. Your vegetable bit. bit. Yeah, in my vegetable, I can set this up um, and make food or a drink and boil my water where you will have to go outside your tent to <clears throat> have the Kelly kettle. Losing your voice there, Bex, isn't it? <laughs> so, um, yeah, you'd have to step outside to light that fire out in the elements if it's raining you've got to put 
put your raincoat on if it's freezing cold you've got to go outside and do that if it's dark you'll have to go outside with a torch hold that light your fire collect your wood you do like the gas stove don't you <laughs> so what do you give it out of 10 Out of ten. Yeah. What this gas stove or the, gas stoves in general? No, your your setup that you've got there, the gas stove approach. Out of ten. Um. I'm gonna go for an eight. Ooh. Or a seven. Well, right, that'll bring me over to the Kelly kettle, which you know I love. This guys, I give a ten out of ten. And I'll tell you why I give it a 10 out of 10. The looks alone, beautiful, isn't it? The machining, the quality, the build quality alone is, is second to none. Just, just on that. The practicality of this. It's useful as a kit for cooking, for boiling water, for purifying water. You can get a fire going practically anywhere burn any material it boils fast um, the ease of use you say ease of use of yours but the ease of use of this I think is is far far greater and you go on about winter camping winter camping you're not only boiling your water and cooking but with the hobo stove as well which I'll show you guys if none of you have seen a Kelly kettle or not familiar with it but it comes in a nice compact package which I really like okay yeah you're right with the bulkiness but sometimes you have to carry bulky items if you want to uh, have a good time so the kit comes with the pot and the hobo stove, which not also, you know, the Kelly kettle fits over the top like that. Flames come up, water's done, nice brew on the go. Put that section on and then you're cooking. So you're utilizing all the timber that you've, you've collected and you've still got a nice hot fire for cooking and keeping warm in the winter. And a disadvantage with that in the winter, the gas will freeze if you leave that outside. Butane will freeze in the winter. Butane, gas, will run out. That will run out. This will last forever. Yeah, I'll give you that. This will last forever. You, you've got your whole system in one bag. If you're going for a long trip, you say about weight, you might have to carry two or three gas bottles, where I've just got this one unit. So that's going to bulk up that apparatus. But you'll have to take tools to cut your wood, maybe. No, I, I don't need to cut wood. I, I can just do that. In the winter, you might have to split wood if it's raining. No, I, I can just get wood off the side of the trees, or I can to burn. To last you. Yeah, I, I've, I've collected this because later on, after our discussion, we're going to have a little race, aren't we? Yeah. We're going to boil, how much are we going to boil? 16 ounces. 16 fluid ounces of liquid. Becky's gas stove versus the mighty Kelly kettle. Race. Who can get a rolling boil from 16 fluid ounces of water for a nice brew? And the deal is, whoever loses makes the brew. Deal? Deal. Hey! <laughs> right, shall we uh, set our things up, get a nice close up so you can have a closer look at what we're dealing with? Buster, go on, move. Good with. boy. So, wish me luck, guys. She needs it. Anything else you want to say about it? Um, I think it's going to win. Yeah? So if you... Uh, you... Overall, not just the race, but overall. So if you want to 
let's let's talk about car camping. If you was on a car, car camping, camping trip, not backpacking, because I I think a lightweight backpacking system. Yeah, you you've got that sold there. Thank you. But for a a long term backpacking car camping situation, this. Well, from no. your Wales trip on your boat trip, you said that you you bo used both of them. Used you? both. You liked using this in the mornings because it was easy. It was simple. I love the convenience, yeah. but I didn't do no prep work. If if I if I prepped all that the night before, which we never done, then this this would be easy. But I didn't mm. do no, I didn't do none of that prep. If you if you forward think and do your prep work before then in the morning it's a doddle yeah so car camping Whew. that is a hard one because you take more bottles of this to last you and depending where you are in your car you won't always get wood if you take it with you in the car maybe but say you pulled up on the beach you'll have to look a lot, uh, a lot harder for wood. Maybe, um, <laughs> yeah. maybe if it's floating in the sea, but that's driftwood. about it. Yeah, driftwood. get some driftwood. But on the same token, if you were somewhere and you had to purify your water, and you know, you know, you know, you need three to four liters of water a day. How long is that going to last if you're purifying water over that? How long does a five hundred gram? bottle last. But no. No? Might be a test coming up. Well, we had a five hundred gram and it lasted us two weeks. Two weeks. So that's roughly three cups three cups of tea a day, roughly. That was no cooking, three cups of tea. Between two people. It lasted yeah, it lasted fourteen days and we still had a little drop left, so but this And the beauty of this, you can boil 1.2 litres straight off. Will that, yeah, yeah. will that stove hold 1.2 litres? Will the feet of that stove hold 1.2 litres? Wouldn't know. You wouldn't know. No, I think it does. I though. think that's going the down from an eight to a four. <laughs> well, let's get a close up anyway. Yeah, I'll show you how beautiful this is. <laughs> so there's the. The nice cook pot that comes with it guys and you get a, a section on the top so of which I haven't got with me but that mounts on there like that and you get a few other attachments with a full kit and it just all packs away really nicely all folds away really compact so you know you've got your cook system and your, and your little hobo stove there but what a uh, what a design you know I've had this and I've had this now, Bex. A year and a half? Yeah, something like that. About a year and a half. You know, I do look after it, clean it up, but faultless. You know, I keep it all clean inside, but it's absolutely faultless. Don't forget, guys, when you're boiling, take that off. It does look like it's meant to be outdoors, guys, doesn't it? Mine comes with a little case with a toggle so it can uh, be done up tight and put in your bag um, nice and compact away. With me I carry this foil so I can uh, put it on the base, protects the ground from uh, getting hot or getting burnt. So that's handy for your inside your tent, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. So don't burn the floor. So here is my little stove. It's got four legs on it, so it can uh, stand off the ground. Oh, retractable as well. Yeah, fold up. Stands nice and stable. And then I'll just attach it to 
to the gas bottle and I've got a nice camo um, case which a good friend of mine gave me. Oh yeah, just take, let's take that off him and let's have a look. So and this case will keep it warm. Uh, like you said, in the winter it's got a chance of freezing so this insulates it a bit. Yeah, so it's a nice thick padded uh, case for it so it's for protection and to insulate it with a toggle as well so you, it will fit different size gas bottles so this is the 500 gram gas bottle you can obviously get different sizes depending on how long your trip is so another feature of the stove is it has electronic ignition so that means I won't have to bring a lighter with me so that's also something else that you'll have to take if you get a Kelly kettle obviously you normally take um, a lighter with you out but um, I won't be needing it when I'm using my stove so I literally just turn the gas on the electronic ignition and it's lit that quick. How's that go, Becky? What? With the fingers. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then it goes out that quick. And then it'll be cooled, it will cool down quicker than your Kelly kettle so I can put it away quicker than you can. Say we're just stopping off for a break. A quick tea on a hike or something you'll have to collect your wood light the fire boil it and then you've got to wait for it to cool down to pack it up again where mine will be a, li a lot quicker when uh, packing away so yeah there is my stove <laughs> guys I'm gonna um I'm going to prepare the fire, so we're going to do the the boil test. I'm going to light a fire in this base till I've got the fire established, and then once it's established, we're both going to place our uh, liquid onto our flame and see which one comes to a rolling boil first. Yeah, you happy with that, Becky? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right, so like I said, if you're not familiar with this, lay your base down. So I'll just put that in there, a bit of dry timber in there. Birch bark, lighter. So we get this established, this base, get a nice, a nice bit of heat in the uh, in the base, and then I'll I'll feed wood down the the centre of the Kelly kettle. But this is far more enjoyable than than lighting gas. There's far more work gone into it. There's far more love gone into your brew. And if you're an outdoors person. It's all about, you know, putting that work in and appreciating what you've done. Don't you agree, Bex? There's no love clicking an electronic switch <laughs> on a gas stove. True. But, um... The beauty of being outside is having to work for your food, work for your drinks. I can make, uh, I don't always have to use my gas stove. No, but... I can make a fire in, in the, the evening. Yeah, but in this scenario, this is pure love, isn't it? Yeah, true. Very true. That's why I give the Kelly Kettle 10. And and look how lovely that looks compared to that. That's why I give it 10 out of 10. You know, when it, when you see the flames coming through the top of this, that is beauty, isn't it? Mm. Huh? Yeah, I agree. So, while that fire's lit, I'm just going to measure out the water in our Pathfinder cups. So we've got the same cup 
the same measurements. What's down in there, Bex? 16 ounces. 16 ounces. So place your Bex, guys. What do you think? Gas or natural fire? What do you reckon, Becky? I will tell. Oh, you're not that confident with your gas stove. Yeah. I just, uh, time will tell. So let's show the camera how much you've put in here. So 16 fluid ounces, about 480 millilitres. Can you say they're the same? Well, let's ask everyone. Show, hold your handle. Now, guys. This is your one I'm holding. Six, just under 16 fluid ounces. Just. A, is yours a bit less? Yeah, a little bit less. A little bit less in mine. A little tiny bit more. Bang on 16 fluid. You're just slightly under 16 fluid ounces here. levels yeah that's that's near enough put a bit more in mine well I'll just tip a little bit into there for, to there yeah that that'd be good it's near on it's near on isn't it I think even if you put a thousand mil <laughs> in mine it would still outboil the gas so I'll get a nice base here going guys And uh, it's predominantly pine, so it's a good wood, good fast burning wood for the Kelly kettle. And there's the, the measurements on the cup there. So I'm going to put my uh, liquid in straight into the oh straight into oh, the Kelly kettle. A cheat job, isn't it? <laughs> I only lost a bit there, Becky. <laughs> it's a little bit on the floor. Well, a dram, a little dram. Every drop counts. So that's gone in there, guys. And Becky's is in a in a cup. So. Base is all done guys, nice bit of heat there. And I've got some uh, more material there to load in. Yeah, that fits nicely. Yeah. Right, One I don't know if you want to count us down guys, with us, yeah? So we go, well, you're getting smoked out as well, yeah. another advantage. You might not be able to see what you're doing. So we go 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Yeah? So we put on at 0. 0, yeah. Yeah? Right. Okay, let's get all your clobber out the way. <laughs> right. Best man wins. Ready, so guys? Like let's count down. 10, 9, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, go. We're on. Go. 
Oh, it's smoky. <laughs> The heat is on. <laughs> Put it on turbo. <laughs> It's enough to go that high, isn't it? Huh? It's enough to go that high. Yeah. I've got a little boil coming. It's great, isn't it? Don't beat it, isn't it? Are you looking on yours? Yeah, good. Good little challenge. So mine's uh, slightly starting to just get them little bubbles in the cup. We're doing. We're going for a roll in as well. Rolling boil. So halfway there. I'm sorry, I'm not Yeah, the heat, heat. I'm done. So you're not. I am. Rolling boil, guys. Look, Becky, through to you. No way. See it? Oh, yeah. You're making the tea. Let's pause it there. Oh no, go on, carry on. Yeah, see how much longer it takes for me. So there, guys, Kelly Kettle. Same amount of water, natural flame. And you can see how much longer Becky's taking. So now I can start cooking now. You're impressed with that, aren't you? Yeah. That Kelly Kettle is quick. So that's just beef. Uh, an 80 pound primer stove but I think you you would be quicker with the lid on but I still think the Kelly cow would beat that with a lid on oh, yeah, I the lid yeah. but, oh well. so you can see you know how quick the Kelly cattle is and I've still got a fire you're gonna be turning that off now when that's boiled aren't you yeah how are you going Let's, let's move that camera down, let's see. So you're almost there, not quite a rolling boil. Two hours later guys. <laughs> <laughs> do, you, do you still rate there the game? There we go, there we go. Do you still rate your little gas stove? I still rate your gas. So you... See that now... That's it, good. That's me all done now. Excellent. All right, I'll get the tea bags. Right, Becky. Mm -hmm. If you make tea. Move this back a bit. So Becky's uh, making a nice cup of tea. Do you want to demonstrate how to uh, 
Paul Walker. Well, no, you, you have a go on there, off. Becky. <laughs> yeah, but it's your pride it's and your joy, four, isn't it? <laughs> it's your forfeit. But no, it's good fun making this debate. I thoroughly enjoyed it. And if you want to see uh, me and Becky doing any other reviews on products or debating about things, you know, leave it in your comments. You know, we could uh, do a little mini series of this debating. I know people that's been following us for a while did like our sleeping bag uh, debate that we done. When was that? Last year, wasn't it? Yeah, last year, yeah, down by the river. Yeah, so we had a little versus down and synthetic bags. But, you know, I can't take nothing away from that the gas bottle. It's, it's horses for courses, you know. That has its purposes and situations, and so does the Kelly Kel, but they're both awesome pieces of kit. But you've got to say, that was an impressive boil time on the Kelly Kel, wasn't it? Yeah, that was quick. That was impressive. You know that we let that camera roll. There was no trickery there. That's what you see there was is what you got. That was that was a quick boil. What do you reckon? Two minutes. Two minutes, guys. Yeah. I don't know. You know what your bets are with, whether with the Kelly or the gas. But it is it is shocking to to see how quick that Kelly kettle is. Admittedly, I had a good base going, and Becky didn't have a lid on her cup. But you know it's it's still still very quick. And like I said, we still got a fire going there, haven't we? So we could cook now. Mm, yeah. Anything to true. add, Bex? No. I'm not going to be a sore loser. Let's try this tea. See if you yeah. put your heart and soul into it. It's a big cup, actually, <laughs> isn't it? Yeah. Half a litre of tea there. Start as we mean to go on. <laughs> oh, very nice, Becky. You're struggling a bit there, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, guys, we've had a nice bit of fun, nice weather, and a nice brew. Thanks, Becky. You all right? <laughs> Cheers. Cheers, guys. Thanks. See you in the next one. Enjoy the great outdoors. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>